How could I help my fellow man and make a contribution to the common wheel if I'm bound to make the old mistake of taking false for true, fictions for real? The wise man leaves the world. You can't be more compassionate than take the robe and bow. And setting off to reach the further shore, you illustrate in action man's right goal. My delusion is that I think we're all deluded. Whatever I'm going to find will have to be another comical invention of my self-mistrustful mind. Be calm, no thoughts. Talk is a useless bore. And silence is another metaphor. You tell us that it is by faith alone, itself a gift of grace, we can be saved. By our own efforts, we cannot atone for mortal sin. Even the best behaved is guilty of the crucifixion. We've no right to expect mercy. Bow down. When Adam die, a few in Christ revive who are elected to receive his call. There's nothing we can do. If we do not believe, we perish. If we don't believe, we perish. Either God or Satan's got us in his power since Adam and Eve. We can't prevent ourselves being mortified and get no credit if we're justified. I wonder how you are encumbered by no metaphysical uncertainty. You do not doubt that we need never die. You see a meaning in our misery. You know damnation and salvation are not merely products of the human soul. You think that there is no evil can debar the power of God to make us whole. I hope it's not my fault. I'm such a fool as not to know whether he is or not. Or if it's by his grace that we are grateful. Or if I've lost or found the truth I sought. Maybe nothing is all we need to know. But if it is, oh Lord, please.